<laughs> well, to welcome to the live. We are live. News. Yeah, get very serious. Yeah. Mm. We are talking about real estate news. I bring in two articles. He brings in two articles. Yes. And we discuss them. Would you like to start? Charles, make sure to read the teleprompter back there. Okay? Yes, we yeah. have to look at the thing. We have to be excited. We have to be ready to go. We have been getting Why feedback. We've been getting feedback from people. It's not about people. the feedback. It's about the clips. We got to go check out the clips. Actually, the clips have been very good, and we thank AI for them. Okay. I will start with story number one. All right, you have to be very excited because this might be clipped. What's the story, Charles? Seller financing is back. <gasps> <laughs> Funny enough, they actually, it was written by a guy, he's an old school guy, he's been doing real estate agents since the 80s. He's been doing real estate since the 80s. Wow. My parents, fun fact before I get into it, 40% down, 18% interest rate, seller financing. 18% hmm. interest rate, 40% down. Wow. So what he was talking about is that for three years. Imagine if you could get 18%. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everyone would be financing through a seller. <laughs> That's like a credit card on a bank, on a home. So it's crazy. He said that for three years, he told his buyers to not use a bank, and none of them did. So for three years wow. in the 80s. Smart guy. It was only seller financing. So he said, here are the five, and then you could come in with yours, the five candidates for seller financing. Number one. A lot of equity in the home and no immediate need for the sales process other than investing. So in other words, it's cash, it's paid off, whatever. Number two, they want a higher rate of return than a bank CD or savings account. That's obvious, or inflation, all right? When you get, number three, when you get the price, it is more important than getting the cash. So in other words, as long as you get the price, hmm. who cares about the cash? That's a very good, I like that one. Number four, the tax consequences would improve if the purchase price was spread over two to three more years. I have no idea, but that's what's something. Um, it kind of makes sense because you're not getting a lump sum. Um, and then number five is it's unique properties like land. It's not available for bank financing or mobile homes or something like that. Seller financing. We ran into someone who's brought that up. I think it was how much down 10 percent down and then was doing what was the interest rate four percent five percent it was low like i could see them coming back with seller financing would you like to read us the whole article that's it okay very good uh tune in for more it is nice when you reach out to people especially buyers in the city and you say there are creative financing options <clears throat> that will always get people's interest to where they say what are those creative financing uh opportunities and in the past, you really didn't have those. So, you know, even when we got into the business, probably back in, well, back in I was 2009, in they probably yeah. were, uh, you know, coming up they with had, creative, creative yeah. financing. But this is a tougher market since probably- Higher know, interest rate, but the difference is that they weren't even financing then. Like, you, the banks froze financing, so there was no financing. Exactly. This is different. There's, their financing is higher rate, so yeah, you have to get creative. Get creative. Yeah, I like that. Creative agents will uh, get the business. Yes, sir. San Francisco office market shows signs of life. Woo! Wow. Okay. We like to hear that. Sales slowly materialize as some sellers accept much lower prices. Well, we've talked about it. There's a price for everything, and it gets to that price, that bottom, things will start moving. That caught my attention because, you know, that is pretty contrary to what you're going to read in the everyday news. And this yep. is a Wall Street Journal article. Uh, what I also like about the Wall Street Journal article so you're saying there's credibility is it. that, <laughs> or lack thereof, there is a lot of comments. So a lot of comments in the comments section uh, saying that- Of that, course you didn't read those. Of course I did. <laughs> uh, just a few of the top ones. But, you know, the, the, most recommended. the fact, they were like very misleading headline. Uh, yeah. The uh, fact of the matter is, it says here in the subtitle that it's because they're accepting lower prices. So there is movement, but it has to be at a much lower price. Exactly. In fact, there are some examples in here that are talking about how, uh, you know, properties purchased back in 2014 are getting like a 60% haircut. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. Everyone's got a price. I've been saying that for a while. We've went over 
commercial real estate here in the city in the news in the past news because we've been doing this for over 35 episodes is this number 35 um yeah it'll be interesting talk about so this is a little fun article to bring some brevity to the situation is that the right word probably not but ahoy new york's most <laughs> unique real estate deal the james franco houseboat boat list for two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, i saw that passed on it I liked it. Why you tell us why, about it? <laughs> by the way, why do I like it? Because you got a houseboat selling. Two hundred and fifty thousand. And ironically enough, is that I heard the guy that does the Dosekis commercial, hmm. the most interesting man in the world, actually lives in a houseboat. In the city. No, no, not in the city. It's on the West Coast. But he said the reason was because he doesn't pay taxes. He pays no taxes. So he lives in a houseboat, and ironically enough here is that you can list Where it. is James Franco's houseboat? It is in Brooklyn. Oh. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry, it's in Rockaway, Queens. Hmm. So it's in a great area, to be honest. Rockaway is a beautiful area. Great food. Um, and you can list it on Airbnb, which is very interesting because I wonder if that's in the new Airbnb law, is that you cannot rent out houseboats. That is really funny. Yeah, and Good he's getting idea. a buck fifty a night. On a house, on a boat, on a one-bedroom boat. James Franco is? No, it's just called the James Franco. I doubt he owns it. That's kind of a strange name to name your boat, to be honest. An actor. <laughs> Though he is from the city. Bizarre. Yep. Uh, I always, uh, you know, Marin County, that's where you get a houseboat. And the last thing I'll say on this. San Francisco, speaking of. During COVID, I was down in Florida, and these people sold. We actually ran into two people that sold their house and bought a boat and has been just going up and down the East Coast and living in a boat. Hmm. So they have no home. Their home is their boat. It was, uh, and they have crazy stories. You know, it's, it's wild well, living in a boat. <laughs> you would like your home to appreciate if you get a boat, expect it to <laughs> depreciate. Yeah, I wonder if that's uh, tax write -offs. How to <laughs> how to sell faster in a slow New York City sales market? Ooh, that sounds like an individual reel. <laughs> Here comes the uh, sales are ten days longer than it was a year ago, so that didn't seem like that much longer. No, right? And uh, and we're seeing a lot of inventory come off the market. Right, that's true. Today as well. we had twenty years, twenty or thirty that came off the market. So. You know, it is a market where you have to do everything right. When you list, you need to be confident that it is going to sell at the market rate. Uh, there's a lot of ways to position yourself. So you're saying yourself at the right price. At the right price, with the, the right, right marketing. You, 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 the you, right think, agent. You, you think you can just put it up at the right price and anybody's gonna come in and get it. No, you gotta go above and beyond. You've gotta paint. You've gotta fix all the problems. You gotta make sure it's showing very well what it says here, and this is why I had to get this article, because I knew Charles would be like, oh my gosh, really? That's what it says? It says, <laughs> pick a broker experienced with your type of property who will market it on social media. Wow. What is this, 2009? Market oh it on God. social media. Get who it? wrote that? And then there is, uh, <laughs> sell it, <laughs> here it is, <laughs> price it for slightly below what other apartments are selling yep. for and then stage. So they had a lot of interesting good tips and tricks do, and virtual. you know there's a, a very good agent in there that was talking about how he felt like he was more of a, you know, property manager handyman at times just getting these places ready to sell, but you only go onto the market once, you only make a first impression once, so you want to make sure that when it does list that it attracts serious buyers and doesn't stay on Let the market. Let me ask you a question. Long. What do you think would be the number one way to sell your apartment besides the price and the agent what piece of marketing it starts with a v and we do it a lot video video <laughs> i i'm still so impressed agents are just not doing video they're not doing they everyone asked for it buyers asked for it tenants asked for it like this has to be a standard in the industry is doing video whether you're on it or not, there has to be a proper video tour of how beautiful the home is showcased, especially in these larger lofts. I think that it is doesn't come a through great on photos. point. You, it almost seems like it is everybody knows that at this point, but it's true. Not everybody lists with a video. Yep. And what's most important about it is that 
they might look at a listing and they're on the fence. And if they're on the fence after looking at that listing, they're going to say no. <laughs> they're going to, it's going to take time to get them to come in to view the property. A lot of apartments that you walk into, you're pleasantly surprised. You're like, wow, I'm much happier with this experience. I got to see the building lobby. I got to see how friendly the staff was. I know who the agent you know, is. The elevators were quick. Yeah. You know, uh, everything worked out it, like it exceeded their expectations. The videos always set realistic expectations on what you can, you're going to go see. I agree. So I would say without a video, it's almost a red flag. It's like, what's missing? What, what, why wouldn't they put a video? Yeah, yeah, especially the higher end properties. Well, that concludes this one. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, any and send articles. articles. <laughs> send articles and send this to a friend who needs Would to hear you say that how to week, properly this list week it. was a little weak on the articles. Yeah, but the entertainment was there. So it's either we bring okay. a lot of entertainment or we bring no, seriousness. I just mean when I was browsing for the articles. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. You know. you know what they do a lot? And, and this is a little, uh, when you're looking through it, they bring up all the homes that sold in, in areas. And, you know, who's actually reading those articles? It's like, you know, it's, in Sarasota, the top five sales in Broward County. And I'm like, where's the real news? It really is just for entertainment. Yeah. Everything is just for entertainment, or uh, the, as you were saying earlier, eyeballs. Because in this uh, article, there was actually a sponsored area, and it said sponsored, and it was about, you know. That's a lot of Business Insider articles. Yeah. They're all sponsored. Oh. Well, that's a little extra. That's a nice outro. We'll see you guys next week, and if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Don't read the news. Create the news. Yes.